Welcome to March Madness Minute number seven. This is another formative assessment tool, and this one is called Kahoot. It's gamified, there's music in the background, it's very competitive. It's nice for setup. Teachers can create a quick setup, but there's no username or password needed for students. This is going to work on any device with the internet, so Chromebooks, iPads, phones, uh, any tablet. Your computer lab is going to work just fine. You get points for being accurate as well as being quick, and there's lots of data available for download to view later. So as a staff member, I'm going to want to go to getkahoot.com. This is a little different than when we get to the student piece. And you can sign up for your free account and log in. And once you log in, you can start a Kahoot from scratch. You can look at the Kahoots you've already made, or you can look at public Kahoots, which is where I am. So if I'm going to go down to Logo Quiz, I can click on this uh, Kahoot that somebody else made, and we can just look at the parts. So here's where the questions are located. Here you can upload images or videos, and you can have two to four answers. It looks like they gave three options, and BP was the correct answer. For each question, you can have a certain number of seconds. So here's 30 seconds, it looks like they use per question. And, and this is just the overall version. So if I want to play this with my students, I would click on the play button. And then I'm going to launch it. Once I launch it, I'm going to get a PIN number that I can give out to students. So now that my PIN number has come up, I'm going to have my students go to kahoot.it. And once I do that, it asks for the PIN number, and they can put in their name. And you can have students work in groups or pairs, have them have a team name. Um, and sometimes those discussions are where a lot of that learning happens. So I have three people in my room, and I'm going to go ahead and start my questions. And I'm just using this logo one that I found online. So this is the teacher station, and this needs to be projected on the TV or on your projector screen because this is that has all the information. It has the question, it has the image, it has the countdown, and it has the answers. So this is what the teacher station sees. The student station only sees the options, um, and then it shows the color and the shapes. It doesn't show the actual answers. So what does this logo represent? So I'm going to click BP as a student. And I've got some other student devices set up here. So I can see two students got the answer correct because it has the check mark. One student got it, one student got it wrong. I can reshow the image as the teacher. And when I say next, I can see the top five students. I'm going to go ahead and hit next so you can see these quizzes are teacher uh, teacher paced. So let's do another one here. So the teacher, once again, on the teacher station being projected to the class is the question, in this case a logo. This could be a math question and show a picture of an array that goes with that. And so Twitter is the right answer. So on the student station, I need to hit the blue Twitter. And I'll click my other devices here. So I, this student, Addie, can see she's in first place and that how many points she has. on this teacher station, I can see two students got it wrong, or right, and one got it wrong again. And if I hit next, it shows how many points each student got. And I could continue. I'm going to end this quiz here. I can see who won. And feedback, this is where students can give feedback and rate the quiz. And it, it looks like, for the most part, students really like these, unless they didn't do very well, and then they don't seem to rate them very high. And so here I get immediate feedback of the, the student's feedback on that test. And this is where I would take this offline. I can show the students the top five. Um, and afterwards, I could download this directly to Google Drive or to an Excel document. Uh, the Excel document has the list of student names, correct answers, wrong answers, score, and you can even look at their ratings and question by question what the correct answer was and how long it took them to answer that question. So staff members go to getkahoot.com and students go to kahoot.it and once again that works on a lot of different devices out there and you don't even have to start from scratch. You can use something that someone else has created. If you have any questions or need some help getting it set up, you can certainly email me or you can go to YouTube. There's many tutorials out there on um, all the ins and outs of Kahoot. Thanks!